Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see from the title today, we are going to be recreating Portia Williams look in this photo. Now, I have been watching Housewives pretty much since it first came on. And I must say Portia was one of my favorite characters. Well, not characters, what are they called? People, because you don't even know what's real nowadays on the reality TV, so I don't even know what to call her. So I'm going to say character because I don't know what the hell be going on for real, for real, whether it's scripted or not. But she was one of my favorite people on Housewives for a while. Like, she's cute. She's bubbly. I mean, I never really looked at Atlanta for the fashions. It just was more of... Um, what was going on, the, you know, Nene and the drama and, you know, because the only one that ever gave looks to me on there was Marlo. So I never really looked at Housewives for, you know, no fashion or nothing like that. So um, lately, you know, we all know what's going on with Portia Child. That's why I put the title there, Child. Hide your kids, hide your wife, because I, I don't know what's going on, but we going to talk about it while we doing this makeup. So if you are new here, I would love for you to subscribe, join our little community. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you very much for coming back. I'm so glad you are liking the content. So we're going to stop talking and let's get into the makeup look. So we're going to start out with our concealer. So I'm first going to prime with the uh, Becca under eye brightener well not prime but well i guess it's prime let's just get rid of the dark circles um under eye brightener in a medium to deep so this i thought this look was like really cute and even though it's a little bit heavy not heavy but it's a little bit dark even though it's a little bit dark for the summer i think i thought the look was like really cute and I just wanted to recreate it, even though Portia is not my favorite person right now, because I don't really know what's going on, but we're going to have to get into it because it's so funny because me and my sister, we have these conversations a lot. Uh, child, there wouldn't be a video of mine if it wasn't some shenanigans, I'm telling you. We have conversations, you know, all the time about, you know having other women and stuff like in your home and around your men. I'm the type of person that I don't have other women like in my home, like spending the night and all that kind of stuff. I'm not saying that I don't have females in my house. You know what I'm saying? Like we're not going to act crazy. Of course you trust your man around other women. I mean, you be around other men. That's life. You're always going to be around the opposite sex. And this is, it's like such a slippery slope. Like I would love to hear like what you guys think about this subject because I'm a type a person, I'm extremely protective of my husband. Like if anybody that knows me know, I don't play no games when it comes to my husband. And it's like I'm you're not walking around nervous or scared of other women or you know you can't have get togethers in your home and all of that but it's just like you have to really be careful because it's usually nine times out of ten when this stuff be going down it be people in your circle like i remember um i was watching hold on let me move this back some that's better i remember i was watching um i don't know if y'all remember what's these girls name Mary Mary. Remember they had a reality show? I was watching Mary Mary. And her husband, Teddy, had, was cheating on her when she was away, like, on tour and stuff. Well, come to find out, wasn't one of the girls he was cheating with, like, I think it was a family member or a close family friend or something. I said, but now... Let's go to the other spectrum because we not get ready to leave them out. These men, ladies, we got to really make sure that we know what we got. Because if I got to watch you, we not doing none of that. I'm not getting ready to be watching no grown man. I'm not getting ready to be, you know, whenever it's women around. You, we not doing none of that. Like, if I got to be watching you, I'm straight, homie. Like, it just, that ain't gonna work. 
We are using the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour, which is fresh wear, because her skin does not look like it's uh, really dewy. So I don't feel like we need to use like a really dewy foundation. And I'm really, really like enjoying this foundation. This is like so good. Yeah, like we're not going to sit and let these men off the hook and just blame Portia like, you know, Simon was just this little lamb shaking in the corner because, you know, Fallon was beating him or whatever. Like we're not doing none of that. He's just as disgusting as Portia is. And I look at it like this. God is not going to give you somebody else's husband. That's point blank in the period. If you guys were meant to be together, you would have found each other. And before maybe him and Fallon, like, I don't know the timeline, but all I do know is I don't want nobody else's husband. So this is the look so far. So for the eyes, it seems like she has like a dark bronzy eye with, um, it's not necessarily jet black, but it's like a really dark outer corner. And the best that I can find that could match this bronze was in the Anastasia Prism palette. So I'm going to use the color, what's this? Sphinx, Sphinx, Sphinx. I'm going to use the color Sphinx. Let's make sure we don't have any wrinkles. Let's make sure we don't have any creasing. Let's lay the color down. Can you guys see? Yeah. Okay. And I'm patting it on instead of swiping it because I feel like that lays the color better. Okay. So now I'm going to take a small brush. Uh, let's take a Wayne Goss 06. And just make sure that it is clean around the edge. Now, I can't really tell if she has a wing or not. It seems like I see a small line, like a straight line. It's just, oh, you know, I'm going to take on, which brush should I use? I'm going to use this. My Scott Barnes 62 brush, and as a pointed um, tip. And I am going, because it looks like it's coming out some, like a wing. So I'm going to mix parallel and obsidian together because I don't want it. It doesn't look like it's just like jet, jet black. So I'm going to mix these two. And I'm going to put it on the corners of my eye. I'm going to lift my eye up. I want you guys to be able to see. I'm going to take a Sonia G, a Blender Pro, 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 and blend it out. So it looks like she took it up a little bit. We didn't do a bad job. You better go ahead, girl. Yes. Y'all got to hide your kids from me. Let me find out. Yes, honey. Old man snatching eye. We did that. Now, let's see if we can duplicate it on the other eye. Because... And make sure you bring it over a little bit. Because she has it brought over the eye. <laughs> Yeah, now I want to darken it. I'm just a little nervous because, child, I'm going to tell you, because hers is much darker. So let's try to, without messing up the eye, 
darken it up in the corner. And I'm using a Wayne Goss, what is this, six? It's like a um flat brush. And you turn it to the side and you can blend. Okay, now I don't know what she has under her eye because her eye is closed. But I'm going to take a little bit of the parallel, the brown that we used, and I'm going to put it under my eye a little bit because her eye is closed, so I can't really tell. But I personally like color under my eye. I don't like just naked under eye. But I'm not just I'm not gonna do a lot. I'm just gonna put something there. So I feel like they don't match. But, you know, I feel like we did a good job. So, we are going to do the blush. Now, the closest blush I could find was the Nutcracker Sweet Copper Face Palette from MAC. This is an old Christmas palette. Child, I hope I don't get no doggone fungus. Like, look how old this is. But this is the only thing that I can see that kind of matches because she doesn't look like she has like a pinky blush or anything on. So we are going to try this as soon as I find my blush brush. Now we're going to go to the blush. Yeah, that's better. This is an old brush from BH Cosmetics. I don't even know if they sell this blush. This, uh, what is with me with the L's? I don't even know if they sell this blush. I don't even want to talk about it anymore. It made me mad. I'm trying to put it in the spot that she has hers in. That's why I'm using this old angle brush because <laughs> I'm trying to put it in the spot that she has hers in. Let me just blend it. Okay, so the next thing we are going to do, what's going on my hair? The next thing we're going to do, the mouth. Now, the mouth really confused me because I have no idea what she has on her mouth. So it looks like a lip liner with just gloss on it or something, but I can also see like a brownish color. So I'm gonna try to match the liner as best as, I'm gonna stop, because the talking as best as I can. All right, I don't even know what liner this is. Cork, but can y'all look at the liner? I'm gonna use cork and line my uh, lip. I'm going to take um, the balm cosmetics and snapped and I'm going to put it around the perimeter of my lip if there's any left in here I need to get some more of this I love this stuff last time but this time I'm going to use because it looks like she has a little bit of a um thicker lash on. So I'm going to attempt to use the Amour uh, lashes from Sephora. So we're going to see. I'll be right back. We're going to see what's up. Okay. I have my lashes on. Now I'm going to say I do not like these lashes and I'm going to tell you why. I have really small hooded eyes and I feel like these lashes are a bit heavy for my eyes and also I can feel them um, on my lid. It feels like I have on like 15, 16 coats of mascara. <laughs> like it's a lot, but I will tell you that I feel like I finally got them on close to my lash line, I'll tell you that. So guys, this is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys like it. I hope I did, you know, the video or the picture justice. Um, let me know what you guys think about the conversation. You know, how do you feel about 
you know, women being around your man in your home, certain kind of situations, pool parties, you know, things where you don't have a lot of clothes on, you know, do you let your girlfriend spend the night at your home? Like, I would love to hear like some of you guys thoughts on this. And let me know what you guys think about the recreation. How did I do? Do you guys like it? Um, again, I love you guys and I really hope you liked today's video and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.